Hi everybody, this is Anthony from Sunny Creates. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I am going to be doing the second week in March, which is week 11. And it's in our H to Z times two series. And we are going to be working with keys today. And remember, if you have been following along with this, um, um, this now I won't say it's a challenge, but more like series, don't forget to um, show us your creations. And you can use the hashtag A to Z times two. Uh, in order to uh, for us to pick up your creations and also you can post them on our um, junk journal I mean sorry Facebook group which is called sunny creates junk journals and uh, you can put the hashtag there uh, um, it's allowed and then we can pick up your beautiful creations okay so we're going to do keys and please excuse my nails and my crafting injury as well um, I was busy uh, experimenting uh, with the technique before I could bring it to you and well <laughs> you can see it's quite a messy technique that I'm going to be using today so second time around I think I'll be using gloves so let's get started I'm going to show you uh, just two ways in which I am using uh, keys uh, in um, journaling and in the junk journals and I didn't have anything prepared so uh, you're not going to see a fully prepared piece that I'm going to use it with but yes let's see how we can use it right so what I did here is I'm going to use two techniques I mean two things uh, this you can see you can use a whole lot of keys right these are actually plastic keys um, into jewelry making as well so some of these are from there okay and I have no idea where I put my box of uh, real keys you know the odds and ends so I'm just gonna make do with what I have over here and I'm going to be using uh, these keys here okay so that's one lot so if you've got real keys, that's great. If you don't have real keys, then maybe consider uh, going to a craft shop or whatever that sells keys and then you can have a variety to choose from. And then the other way you can do it is you can, if you have any dies, die cuts that have keys in it, then you can use that, okay? Or dies, not die cuts, dies. So I had one uh, die, I mean it was m multiple keys in it, it was a, came in a set and I was able to make these out of it and I used uh, pearl boxes, discarded pearl boxes because they're quite small. I must say I'm not terribly, mm, what's the word I'm looking for, impressed with how they cut. Um, I felt that they were quite hard to get out and I felt that they could have made them a little bit thicker so yeah I probably won't recommend it uh, you know the one that I used but nevertheless as you can see that one already broke and yeah so I'm not terribly impressed with that but I had it so I used it um, then what I did is after I used the the pull boxes to cut them out so I mean they were quite strong but because they were so hard to come out when you started pulling at them it weakened the cardboard uh, then what I did is I took them outside and I spray painted, spray painted them with silver and uh, that's what I got over here right so I can tell you one thing if you uh, don't use the technique that I'm using and let's say you use distress inks uh, or something like that then uh, don't use anything that is like plastic coated because you know it's not going to stick on there so i tried using distress inks on this one and it, it didn't work so i tried to flip them around and tried using it there but uh, you know because i thought oh because it has um the, the the spray paint on it it didn't work but then even when i flipped it over this one is a little bit uh 
this side has some plastic coating on it so it also didn't work there yet this is just an ordinary piece of cardboard and you can see that if you had an ordinary piece of cardboard then you can definitely get away with using your distress inks uh, so maybe the next time I'll give it a shot with distress inks but uh, not today okay so that's another alternative and the reason why I'm giving you or showing you that alternative is because of what I'm using over here uh, definitely I say don't go out and buy uh, these here if you don't have it don't go out and buy it okay um, because uh, you can see the technique I mean you can see that the distress ink holds pretty well so don't go get these and I'm I haven't tried it as yet but I'm sure distress ink might work if you put clear gesso on these uh, keys I haven't tried it I can't say but I mean that's what clear gesso is for it's like a primer so I'm assuming that it could work okay so if anyone tries that um, maybe and and it works uh, let us know okay all right so what am I using rather now these are uh, patinas and they for all metals and I won't say I have a lot of them, um, but yeah, I probably have some of the collection with me and I use it because um, simply to change color of metals like I'm doing here or even these here um, work well because, you know, I change up the colors of um, some of the jewelry findings and stuff like that when I make jewelry. Okay, so this is the patina and it's from Vintage or Vintage, but I don't think it's called Vintage. Uh, but it's Ranger, Ranger Vintage, V-I-N-T-A-J. So I'm not sure how you pronounce that, but it is a Ranger product and it's the patina one. It's permanent, it's fast drying and it's for all metals. Uh, so I am using Verdigris. I think that's how you pronounce it uh, so I'm trying to mimic rust in a way uh, and this is onyx okay and this one is rust okay so that's what I'm going to be using today and um, yeah so let's get started and then what I will be using is I'll be using a wet wipe and sometimes I will be using uh what's this word um maybe some um paint brushes but just so that you know they do come out so if you use a paint brush and you put it in water to uh, soak and get rid of it it does come out so it um it is water soluble oh uh, when wet i think um yeah so if you use it on a paintbrush I've been using it for years with my paint brushes and I don't have a problem just wanted to show you this is me using it on a using it with a um, wet wipe and how gorgeous is that how gorgeous you can take it and you can use it for something else now okay so I'm gonna definitely keep that one there and let's get started so I am going to oh and my last thing that I'm gonna be using and I'm sure you all know is some cinnamon i just decanted some um i've got quite a big bucket of it and i put it into a little um herb sprinkler or i don't know what you call it but yes so i i got that one there all right so what am i going to do going to be doing now with these here they stick on on the surface so i didn't have to put um clear gesso okay so let's get started so all I'm going to do is add really there's a ball in this so if you're keeping it and you're not using it for a very long time even if you are using it quite often there's a ball in it and you must shake this thing until you hear that ball rattle and roll and then you know that this is shook up enough and um, so you can use it there's a yeah you know the the inks or the dyes I don't know what have moved around the pigments have moved around and they are now all to oh, can I get a word here I'm struggling here for words uh, what they are yes I'll think about it and I'll let you know <laughs> so that's that 
And yes, it's going to get a little bit hot. So what I was saying is that you can leave it to dry. It dries pretty quickly. You don't have to uh, use the heat gun. Uh, I just uh, don't have the luxury of time. Otherwise, you'll be sitting here forever. Right, so I'm done with that color there. And we can revisit the colors depending on what we're looking at uh, achieving. Hi. So I think it's blend, but that's not the word I'm looking for either. Mix as well, yeah. <laughs> if I'm editing and I find the word, I'll put it down. And you can see I'm literally using a drop because uh, you don't need more than a drop. Well, I mean, I'm literally doing one key as well. So, so ladies, gents, I hope you are all well and you are doing fine. This is the second video I'm doing today. I uh, will be taking a break next week, so I kind of have to film my videos in advance for next week. And uh, yeah, so let I want. I need to speed up these videos or get them out so that I can have some time to film uh, or video the other tutorials that I have going. I'll see how it goes. Now I'm just adding the onyx. And just I think I'm going to add a little bit more. Trying to mimic rust. Listen, I'm not the best at doing this. I'm sure this, they, I know, not I'm sure, there's people out there that do this all the time, but uh, the whole idea I think about this channel is to show you that you don't have to be an expert in anything to be able to craft, and if you don't um, try, okay, give it a shot, then you're not going to be able to learn. So that's that and then now what we're going to do is we are going to have to find some kind of adhesive to be able to um, put the uh, cinnamon onto. So let's see what we got over here. We've got some adhesive. Now the technique that I'm going to use for those keys is the same. Nothing, nothing different. The only thing is that this is now on uh, this and that's going to be on paper or cardboard. Okay, so we are done with that one and then Use this here because quite a bit of the cinnamon drops. Just went down these and I found one that is empty and I brought it and it's quite big. If this is for um, uh, the uh, so what we are doing. Sorry about that, is we are mimicking the thing of rust on to our okay. just cleaning it out because remember we used uh, glue so it went into the cracks over there and I must say this is quite works quite well in terms of mimicking rust, uh, the cinnamon, the cinnamon works quite well. Okay, and then what you can do is that once you put the cinnamon on it and you feel, okay, you know what, let me go in and add a little bit more of this or that on it, then you can do that. Nothing stops you from doing that. You 
work it until you are happy with it. Okay, so I think I'm, I think, I think it's good enough. Let's see how that looks. Sorry, I, I'm wearing gloves, but I think you can have a pretty good idea of how that came out. So from this, let's just put them together next to each other. From that to that, I think that's pretty, uh, I mean, a good transformation, hey? All right, so let's do the next thing, the next ones now. gonna leave that to the side and move these out here bring that in so okay that's the same let's get that one there and maybe that one there and that one there let's see what we're gonna do with this now so once again, we're starting with the rust. And can you see how little I use? I can't even tell you how, <coughs> excuse me, how old those are. I can't. It's years. I can tell you it is years. What's happening? got it for many many years and I wonder no I don't think so I was going to tell you that if you're using keys you can use alcohol ink but I don't think so because alcohol ink is transparent this is not transparent this is opaque That's why I, I hate them. I mean, okay, hate is a strong word. I don't like them. I just like them because they, yeah. I, I just felt that they could have done a better job with the dye, made them a little bit thicker in terms of the stem. Just my personal opinion. Uh, can have our personal opinions, right? So on this one over here, they are almost dry. So I'm not even going to go ahead and uh, use my heat gun. I'm going to go straight into this color here. Now. Oh, come on. Sorry, it's so messy and did get hurt so I don't want even though I've got a plaster or band-aid on it I don't want that to get missed so that is why it is moving around the place can you see they don't I mean what's the word I'm looking for it's stuck much better with uh, the key than it's doing with this. Yep, and then the last color is this here. And you'll notice I am not uh, using another wet wipe or anything because the whole idea about this is that the colors are blending in with each other so you don't need to use a wet wipe or anything of that sort in it I'm going to I mean sorry a separate wet wipe I'm going to try a dry wet wipe maybe that one is a bit 
too wet now, saturated. So the paint, I mean, this patina is just coming right off it. Let's see. Yeah. Yes, that's better. And then we'll go back. We'll go back if we need to with different colors. Now, like, so what I'm going to do is I am going to put the, this on. I'm also dabbing it in simply because of the uh, the fact that it's got uh, all these beautiful it is beautiful but you know the the, the the tiny and intricate work on these dyes it's just that they are so thin that yeah personally I Maybe I'm the only one that actually doesn't like it, and that's fine too. See, this one feels a little bit more, um, what's the word I'm looking for? stable or like firmer it's probably because it's a smaller piece but this one here shocks now wasn't happy with that one oh you know look at how much <laughs> uh. to one side and then I will then put it back there so um, that's not going back into my kitchen that I just as I said I decanted it so that won't be going into my kitchen that's just going to be for my crafts now and then I think I'm going to go back a little bit to add to it once again, my dry wet wipe. But like that, and I think with some blue as well. Making a merry mess here, but that's why I'm using this mat. Sorry if I was out of frame there. a little bit of black and I think we'll be fine so ladies and gents I hope you are following along on the series remember you don't have to do every single one of it you don't you do what interests you you do what you want to use because remember you come back and you if you want to use the snow you don't it's not part of what you want to do now okay because it doesn't suit any of your projects then you don't make it you watch the video and say well i can i know 
that Sunny Creates has done something like this, which means that come the time I want to create something like this, I can go ahead and create it because I, all I need to do is I need to go back to the video and watch it. So that's basically how it works. Let's add that to that side. See? And trying to clean this out. Mm, I don't know how successfully. Let's try and use some. Uh, what's this thing called? Um, I'm going to keep that. It looks awesome. It's hand sanitizer. It does work. So, as you can see. Sorry, I needed to clean that out at least halfway decent because now I want to show you what I want to do. Yeah, so I was saying that you don't need to make it. You can watch it and, and two months down the line or whatever, you feel, oh, I'm going to use that for my project. Then you come back and revisit the video. I mean, that's how I work. Doesn't mean to say that I'm going to make it right now. But you know that. Okay, so here's our pieces that we did. Uh, in that one, from that to that and from those the to these here okay so now let's see let's give an idea of how we would use this so i thought for this one here you saw this before all i did was i took one that i made previously that one there and i you know i'm just gonna add it here like that and I am going to just maybe put a bread on it. I'm not sure whether I want to even put a bread on it. No, I'm not because I don't think I have a bread that, that, that is that small. So I'm going to just leave it like that. And uh, just going to glue it up and push it in. This was the culprit. This was the culprit of my injury. The small little thing. Well, it actually wasn't that. It was that. It was, and anyway, it was my own fault. I was just being careless and silly. No, oh, so. There is a video tutorial on this, so if you haven't caught it as yet, it's there to catch. So just edit it to that now. Can you see that? The just added that key there. Okay, and then let's see where else we wanted to add key. So I am using when I feel. I can. Uh, don't always. I'm not always good at planning my videos and stuff like that. But I got a book over here which I need to sort out anyway. And I am using. So sorry, those are just some of my personal notes in there. That's why I did that. So I'm going to be using these here. All right to spruce up this now i thought what about if i take let me just bring it more closer sorry not closer in i don't know what i mean what if i take this one and i cut it down and i add it as part of her eye over here as a decoration for her eye so i'm going to do that but i think i'm going to use this one here because i like the colors on it and i'm going to do that okay so I'm gonna do that so I'm gonna cut it down to about here like that and I am going to use it the uh, 
this thing is really i didn't clean it i mean i left it like that the other day and i didn't clean it so it's giving me a bit of a problem it is deciding that it will rebel against the fact that i didn't clean it out i told you ladies and gents we need to show our craft supplies who's boss we are the bosses I'd like to think. How cool! How cool is that? <laughs> Could this be your earring? No, 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 no. Don't be silly. That won't work. And then we're going to take another one. Maybe what do we have there? Do we have anything there? Or did we bring it all to this side? I think we brought it all to this side. No man. Where's the rest? Oh, there's one here. And there's another one here. No, it's not. Okay. So that's that. So we're going to leave that there. And then maybe we're gonna add this one here. Yeah. Uh, with this, yeah, no, that's not. Uh, let's add this here. That there. Maybe that here. Yeah, let's do that. All right, so just showing you. Now, these are not even really, these are not even things that I have done. These are just part, as you saw, part of what I've already done. I didn't want to do something. new just working with what I have so this is one of the pages in my planning planner when that I use I think it's January but maybe I wasn't didn't decorate because it was meant to decorate it this way i'm wondering do i even need to put this yeah i think i'll put that just to give it more uh what's the word i'm looking for um not symmetry but make it look Kind of right. Balance. The word is balance. I think. Mm hmm. So that's that. Let's see how does that look now. Is that going to stick? Of course it's going to stick if I just add enough glue. Yes. So let's see what we did there. We took the keys and we used them as decorations. Oh. Sorry, I didn't realize that light was there and what a glare. Okay. So that's what we did there. Just checking how many lights are on. Okay, so that's what we did there. And now, what I wanted to show you is a way to use our key that we made. So that's not done. And why do I feel like it looks so dull over here? Why? But anyway, 
So all I'm going to do is I'm going to use it as a closure, using your key as a closure now. So I'm taking that and I'm doing that. And you can add beads over here. You can add beads to this and stuff like that, but I am not going to do that. All I am going to do is, I think it works that way, and using it. Yep. There. So, and that's why you can add your beads to it so now it becomes a closure can you see that and then if you have your beads there then that's fine or that way you can use it that way or and add some beads to go down this way All right or you can add it this way like that and have beads as well running down and all it does is it makes a very simple simple closure for your junk journal and if you have this decorated with a tupper on it or something like that it's gonna look awesome Not like i want to put this there but yeah you see that one is just <laughs> too much okay but if you have something where you decorate it with that then you can it's going to look really cool. Okay, so it becomes a closure for your journal. Okay, then I wanted to show you something else. Mm. So I bought this here. I bought this book from the thrift store the other day. And I just, I don't know, something about it caught my attention. And I had to have it. I don't know whether it's uh, the fact that it is, uh, I think the fact that it has, it looks like it has handmade paper in it. You know, I think it does. This is definitely handmade paper, but very uh, well done. It's like perfection. I'm assuming it's handmade paper because the texture is such and yeah and i like the the cover i like the size and um, i probably will uh, put um you know cover this up over here so i don't see the stitching but it's just gorgeous it's gorgeous okay and i bought it so what am i gonna do with this is this one here just add it to it also, once again, you can add your beads to it. It's already done, so. There you go. And this one over here, it just becomes a key. Okay. So once again, just a very easy journal um, closure okay da -da -da -da. And that way cool just like that right so that's it for today that's what we um, played with today we played with the keys and I showed you how to spruce it up if you want to. And I also showed you how to use them as decorations and use them as the journal closures. Now remember, as I said, ladies, gents, please don't feel that you need to go out and the only way this technique is going to work is if you have these patinas. No, it's not going to work only with that. As I demonstrate to you, 
for cardboard ones you can use that oh well i didn't demonstrate i showed it to you okay there and then i think this one here would definitely uh get a shot with clear gesso first on it i mean i think you can even use white gesso because you these are forget i said that um i think you can use white gesso as well and just layer these here a bit darker or now use the, uh, uh, your oxides your oxides your distress oxides are opaque and they will already give it that gorgeous rusty whitish foam on it try that definitely try that in if you don't have these definitely try and if you have oxides um i mean let's see what 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 would you get black soot uh rusty hinge and um what would be close to verdigris yes i um i have no idea uh not cracked pistachio i don't know uh broken chart no i don't know i mean i haven't done the 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 swatches yet uh, what is this here no ladies and gents i have no idea what it could be and my uh i definitely have a very limited um thing of uh maybe even try that which is broken china broken china try that okay and i'm sure it will work oh anything in blue try if you have uh your distress oxides try it out there and let us know what works okay i don't have a lot of distress oxides but i'm thinking i think i'm thinking broken china might work okay after you just sew it cool that is it i hope that you enjoyed this uh demonstration here and i do hope that if you um are not yet a subscriber that you will consider subscribing to my channel um and also joining my facebook group which is called sunny creates junk journals and also um following me on instagram as sunny creates and as i mentioned i will be bringing uh, the next series to you is going to be doing my um uh, what's it bustling bees uh junk journal so you can follow along with that uh, i will be starting it very very soon um uh, i just had my booster shot and yes let's just say i'm not feeling the best uh, there's nothing wrong it's just that my arm is sore so um yeah i'm taking some time just to sort that out um going easy uh so yeah anyway i'm going to start that one soon and i will be doing a flip through of my fabulous flowers journal uh coming up soon and also i will be releasing my new um kit on my etsy store and that is called floral fantasy so take care everybody and have an absolutely awesome rest of the weekend and rest of the week and have a blessed day have a blessed weekend and have a blessed week ahead thank you bye bye from sunny at sunny creates